So guys, we're gonna make a quick pizza video here that I'll edit up later. Um, we got two balls of dough hanging out there, uh, just warming up because they were in the freezer. Uh, so those have been thawing for a few hours now. But to get the pizza started, we're just gonna quickly slice up a bunch of veggies uh, of your choice. Basically today we're going with onions, peppers, mushrooms, and tomatoes. Uh, maybe a little bit of ginger and garlic. Throw that in the frying pan, get that cooking ready to go. Um, don't have to cook it too much in this case because we're using a raw dough so it's going to take longer to bake. Uh, but if you're using like a pita or something like that like I did in one of my other videos, um, it's already cooked so you're ready to go. So I would saute it more with uh, the tomato sauce or the curry or whatever you want to make with it. And then we're just going to pour those up, pour that on top of the doughs, put them in the oven and away we go. Alrighty. So we got some homemade, or not homemade, some store-bought sauce here. You can make homemade sauce if you'd like. Uh, I just find homemade sauce is a lot runnier if you don't uh, cook it down. And ours is raw sauce. Yeah, and if you keep it raw, it's exactly. So if you cook it off, it'll uh, thicken up for you. But we're just going for simple, simple and easy here. So we're going to load this up with sauce on the bottom. Next we're going to put the spinach on, because spinach burns the easiest, so we're going to put it at the bottom. Then, we're going to top that with mushrooms, raw mushrooms. And then, our sauteed veggies are going to go on top of that. So, we'll do that there for a minute. Spinach on the bottom, it's going to get a little crazy. Doesn't have to be pretty. Oven is at 450. Yeah, we'll see how long that takes. I'm guessing 10 15 minutes, but we'll see. I'm used to the it. The dough is pretty thick. It's from the Italian center, yeah. so probably take about 20 minutes. And I'm used to a convection oven, which cooks a lot faster for baking. Okay, we'll do that. We'll grab the mushrooms here. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're not getting paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not going to cheat and cover it all up with cheese like the restaurants do. So I usually don't put them on trays, but because this is fresh dough again, it's pretty hard to put fresh dough onto a oven rack. Man down. Alright, grab that spoon. Start loading up the veggies. Probably just dump most of this on because it's all going to fall down anyway. Mine's the one with the onions. This <laughs> Mary Ann doesn't love onions like I do. Good enough. So I'll just pile this back up nice and high. And the dough will spread a little bit. Yeah, it's going to rise and spread a little bit. But like I said, I like doing it with pita because I'm lazy. But we'll see how this frozen dough turns out. You, you had it the other day? Yeah. How was it? it was Amazing. Good. Was it like 20, so good. 20 minutes? Fluffy, delicious, 20 minutes. Fresh. Put whatever you want on top and go. Beautiful, look at that. It's looking good. It's heavy too. It's got some good weight to it. Probably go in the middle so that it doesn't burn the top. Let that dough cook. Alright, get ready to eat. Right, here we go. Pizzas are out of the oven, and this is where they're at. <laughs> get up on in there. Mm. Yeah, so those are looking good. So we're gonna toss these out here real quick. 
throw some fresh tomatoes on top. And when I mean fresh, I mean not cooked. Raw tomatoes. This one get up. Perfect. Look at that. Ching, 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 ching. Go full Asian on that. Can I cut it when you're done? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. I'm just gonna keep it easy. I like bigger pieces, so I'll just cut it in half and in half. All right, look at that. It's best to have a sharp knife. This one is not sharp anymore, so I need to go get that sharpened. All right, quick tip for sliding. Hopefully, I don't screw this up myself but as you're push you almost you want to put the cutting board past whatever you want to put it on so as you're sliding you're also pulling the cutting board out and pushing the pizza all at once and try not to go too slow because that's going to make everything kind of topple over so I'm just going to quickly do that boom that's epic back the other way wonderful as Marianne said Bon appétit.